Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to um, have anti-recoil for R6 for Logitech G-Hub right here. So I'll actually have the sc entire script or my custom script into the description. And um, basically what you want to um, basically what you want to do is once you've copied the entire thing, you want to go to games and applications. I have it as my default because it's just easier. But you can also put it as this one. So you want to go to scripting right here. And make sure it's on profile so it shows scripting. And basically, you want to delete the few th uh, everything, and you want to paste it, and it should look like this. And save and run. And so how it works is, if you go to your mouse settings. There will be one second. You can see right here that there's G7 right here. This disables and enables it. It's like a toggle. And then this is for a custom one. You can like change it, but you can change all of them. So I personally have this for Jaeger. Because I had to like change it and like tweak it to have to, to make it best for Jaeger. And then Right here, this is for Docs MP5K, and this is for the R4C. So these are like probably one of the best, like most popular operators, which is why I have them on right here. So that's how you enable and disable it. And just let me let me show you how um, how it works. So right now I'm using the R4C. Right now it's um, one second. Right now. It's pretty bad no no control at all they have been let me enable it with g7 and then Shooting make sure it's on g5 and that's it without any recoil control but that's like ever so slightly pushing down a little so that like does a lot for you so we can like And it's basically the same for the MP5K for Doc and Jaeger. Um, you can, I can show you how you guys, um, I can show you guys how to change it, like for different weapons. So let me just go to the script. So in the script here, this is G5, this is G4, and this is G8, and then this is G6. And so basically how it works is that this, if it's positive 25 right here, of a value of positive 25, it'll actually push down that much. And I would recommend keeping the lay it as one because it just makes it super easy. I'm not sure if you can put a 0.5 or point like whatever, but I keep it as just a solid number just to make sure. And negative two or like negative values actually pushes it this way so if your gun is like recoiling up like this the neg uh, the positive 20 the positive 25 y will push it down and also push it to the side so it'll like stand still more and so it, it like differs for different weapons depending on their recoil but that's how you like change it um if you have any questions please ask me